Thanks very much, uh, Dr. Cassidy, and uh, I want to welcome the uh, congressional staff for being here. Also, uh, thank Carl Moeller and the Campaign for Public Health uh, Foundation for sponsoring this briefing. Uh, also, Ed Sandik, who you'll meet, and uh, Matt Longjohn later. The YMCA has been a terrific partner uh, with CDC. We've worked together for many years on a wide range of activities, uh, and it's been a very robust, uh, really, a colla collaboration that is helping millions of people across the country. NHANES is the gold standard. And if there's one thing that you should take home from this, it's that NHANES is the gold standard. There are lots of ways we estimate health status, but with NHANES, we actually measure it. And we measure it in ways that are so meticulous that in an, and excuse me, Cliff, I've got to say this, but in an organization full of people who are scientists who are obsessive compulsive about their data, they are the most obsessive compulsive about how they collect their data. So they want to make sure that when we have a result through NHANES, it's right. It's not just what people tell us, it's what we measure. My first day of medical school, the dean said to us, don't believe anything you hear and only half of what you see. And what NHANES does is it tries to make sure that we get as close to reality as any survey can take us. That means that they've systematically studied, for example, how to collect delicate information. And it turns out that people will be more honest with a computer than they will be with an interviewer. They will be more likely to disclose high-risk behavior. So we have ACASI, Audio co Computer Assisted Simulated Interviews, done as part of NHANES. We don't just take blood, blood pressure once, we take it on multiple occasions in a standardized way. We don't just measure the results in any laboratory, we measure in a meticulously standardized laboratory so that we know over time what's happening and that we have exactly correct results. That gives us information about high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, hepatitis C, a wide range of conditions that we would not know if it were not for NHANES. It's also very important to measure health disparities because we measure in different population groups. And as I, I suppose you'll hear, because I've certainly heard about it, you've got some new population groups that are being measured right now for the first time ever in NHANES. Uh, this gives us data not just on who's diagnosed or treated, but who has a condition that isn't known to them or to the healthcare system. Take high blood pressure as an example. High blood pressure kills hundreds of thousands of Americans each year. We know from NHANES and only from NHANES that there are 67 million Americans with high blood pressure and that 54% of them don't have their blood pressure under control. We know that of the 36 million Americans who don't have their blood pressure under control, 16 million are actually on treatment, but not adequately or effectively to control it, and therefore at a much higher risk of a heart attack, or stroke, kidney failure, or other problems. So the NHANES information provides the gold standard for identifying a problem and for tracking whether we're addressing it adequately. <laughs> Diabetes has been on the increase since the 1970s, and we look at the proportion of people with diabetes who have their blood sugar way out of control. The glycosylated hemoglobin, or HbA1c, number of more than 9%. That means there's been a lot of sugar in the blood for months on end in most cases. We see dramatic differences. So overall, it's about 13% of adults who have, with diabetes, who have it way out of control. But there are huge differences by race and ethnicity. So among uh, white Americans with diabetes, 9%, African Americans, 21%, Mexican Americans, 24%. That kind of disparity information is only available because of NHANES. What do we eat as a country? Only NHANES rigorously collects information on that in a standardized way. We work collaboratively with the Food and Drug Administration, with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to track exactly what people consume through careful, meticulous dietary histories. And there's nothing like seeing. So if you haven't seen the Medical Examination Center, please, uh, when there's an opportunity, do so, because uh, whatever I say is not going to make the same kind of uh, impact as actually seeing it. Anyone who's seen a growth chart that we track our children's growth in 
Those come from enhanes. And now for the first time, in, we're measuring uh, child physical fitness. So we'll be able to say how fit our children are going forward. This is important, uh, three to 15 years old. The first look really uh, on what's happening in terms of fitness. Tracking is key to targeting and to improving our efforts. So it's the gold standard. Please go see it. Uh, thanks so much for the panelists. And uh, I'll turn back to the panel or, or Carl for further discussion.